through the rest of the week. If you take a look over here on my screen, we are on TFNN.com. You start at the home, you're gonna go over to the newsletters tab. Now we have a bunch of great things to look at, but I want to focus right now on Mastering Probability by Steve Rhodes. This is a great, extraordinarily thorough. If you like, you know, a really full newsletter that goes over a lot of different things, this is 100% the newsletter for you. I strongly recommend checking it out. Uh, what's also great is that if you've never subscribed to Mastering Probability, we offer all first-time subscribers, all of our newsletters, a 30-day money-back guarantee in case it doesn't work out for you, so uh, you have no risk. So come check it out. Steve, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. Getting ready for July 4th. Are you a big July 4th celebrator? I can't wait. I can't, can't wait. wait. We're going to have a great time. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. I'm kind of, uh, well, when my kids were young, now they're grandkids. Now we got grandkids, but when the, uh, when the kids were young, I was kind of a pyrotechnic Love it. guy. And in being in the state of Florida, as you know, as long as you're protecting your farm, you can <laughs> <laughs> you can blow off all these great fireworks. So I, I always look forward to that. This 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 year, pretty much everybody is gone and doing their own thing. So uh, which is nice because then I can save hundreds of dollars. But you yeah, know, folks, if, if if you've not lived in Florida or been to one of the uh, fireworks places out here, they're pretty extraordinary. Have you gone into like uh, Phantom or any of those uh, fireworks stores? Yeah, totally. And that is something that amazed me as well, that that's not the, you know, I grew up in Florida, and that's just not the case. I mean, we really go out in Florida. I mean, you, <laughs> any, like every mile down the side of the road, you're going to have a fireworks um, stand. And I mean, yeah. they're like munitions. They're crazy. Yeah. I love no, it. It's, it's great. So, uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the celebration. Of course, nothing that beats the uh, Macy's, you know, the New York, the, uh, sure. where else do they do? The, uh, the Boston, maybe they do a big one. Or what have you. So, but even uh, the so small beach communities around here, I mean, they they'll yeah. put on ones that go for like thirty minutes. It's insane, really. Oh no, for sure, for sure. So I guess as a, as a celebration in this country, we spend a lot of money on fireworks. Uh, we absolutely do, and you gotta you gotta show out like that, you know. So, but there's there's no fireworks in the stock market these days. I know. So, right? What are we um, looking at with that? Well, I tell you what. So you had mentioned the newsletter and all the detail that's provided there. Yeah. And yes. uh, so I, I put together this new table for subscribers, and really what it does is uh, kind of like the call that you got from Costa. And Costa's asking the question, you know, where's a buy point? Yeah. Which is really what I do for an hour each day is help people understand, you know, is there a top or a bottom? That's the first thing. You know, are we in the middle of a move? Um, and uh, and where is where is a buy point or a sell point out there? So as an example, and so what I cover here is uh, I've got the the primary futures, the ETFs. And this is just for the daily time frame, and then uh, some of the top the top ten NDX 100 stocks and the top Dow stocks out there. And this is a lot of what people will typically call it. So as an example, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move a stock chart over that's going to cover up everything except for one thing. So I'm going to just put over the ES mini chart right now. And so up above, just so people can understand how this actually works. So we take a look at the ES mini, upper, which is the top row out here. Right now, price at 55.27. If you look at the uh, stock chart out there, you see we've got the same price. And what I do is I provide a, a, a daily outlook. Now, the daily outlook, Jacob, is based upon all the tools that I use to help identify the top or bottom, where is uh, uh, where is uh, support and resistance out there. So right now, with regard to the S&P 500 via the ES Mini, we are in a consolidating bull phase, consolidating because we are consolidating with inside support and resistance. So let's just go one by one out here. So I've got uh, this top says DTT9 support. This is the daily TD9 count. Now, the cool thing about a TD9 count pattern, which, by the way, the ES Mini has a TD9 count top. And this is something that I teach to folks. It's very easy to identify, especially if you're using, you know, daily, weekly time frames. Luckily, I've automated this tool so I can put up any time frame, immediately know what patterns are present. It doesn't mean every time we get a TD9 count top that it's going to be a top. It can, you know, all tops or bottoms can fail. But what helps us is we have a better idea of where we're more likely to see a top or a bottom. In this case here, we've got that TD9 count top. What that set up was a really a couple of different things. One, well, the most important thing is where is profile, where is support? Where is the daily TD9 count support? And that's that red line that's going across our screen. So for example, if Costa was asking the question, where is one of the buy points for the ES Mini? Well, that would be at 53. So you don't have to have the chart. You don't even know need to know the chart. All yeah. you have to do is look at Stevie's table up there. <clears throat> 
If we're looking for daily profile support, and that would be a more, in, because that number is higher than the TD9 count, that would be a place where somebody could take a look at entering. And that's down at 54.93. And you can see on the chart, that's down at the very bottom panel. The profile, um, where's the uh, daily, where's the resistance level out here? And so this green line, green and red line, is referred to, I refer to that as the oscillator and change line. Not to get into the details about that, but I also teach that to subscribers out there. And right now, the up arrow tells me that that line is green. So when that line is green, it tells me that we have a price oscillator as above zero. That in itself is a bullish condition, generally speaking. But that up arrow, and so that tells me that it's green. This also says that I've got resistance. Well, where's resistance? Well, we can see that price is a prices below that line. So that's the resistance level. So let's say you were looking to short the ES mini. You would want to know where that key resistance level is. And when we take a look at the stock chart out here, Jacob, we can see how this green line has acted as resistance for the last uh, five trading sessions out here. Mm -hmm. So if somebody were really had the had the inclination to want to short, what they would be, now that number is going to change as price goes up and down. But generally speaking, if you use, you'd be looking at shorting between 55.57 and 55.69. And 55.69 is a daily profile resistance level out there. And then I also happen to show where was the last uh, TD9 count uh, top and the TD9 count bottom. So that's a, so it's a, it's a cool uh, tool for uh, subscribers at a glance for the instruments that they trade to know exactly where support and resistance is and from a daily perspective, uh, what's the current outlook. Now, I provide more than just that and other tables, but this is just kind of like the quick go-to for the uh, day time frame. Um, now, we had cost. Do, do you mind if we kind of just add to Costa's idea? Absolutely. About, you know, yeah. take a look at NVIDIA. I mean, it had some other things Absolutely. planned. Absolutely. Since you got that call, why don't we just go take a look at that, just in case he's listening in, and so we can help to identify possible buyers. So first, we take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA has a top. Uh, you mentioned uh, Basil Chapman and out here. This is a wave number seven top. It's a very small portion of Basil's tools out there. When we take a look at support and resistance level, we can see on a daily basis prices trading below the bottom of its profile. Folks, pro a profile, the bottom of a profile is where support is at, where buyers are at. The top of the profile is where the sellers are at. So we know that price on a daily time frame. And so one of the things that I would say to cost is, well, what's your what's your time frame? What is it that you're looking for? Are you more of an intermediate term trader? Is it a, is it a day swing trader? Are you longer term? So we take a look at the uh, daily time frame. In fact, if we went back to that other chart that we were looking at, this would tell us that the bull run from a daily time frame is over. Mm -hmm. Absolutely true. However, to just take a look at the stock chart for just the daily time frame is too myopic out here. We take a look at this weekly chart, which I'm going to go ahead and open up. This does have a TD9 count top. And what we've seen here, whenever there's a top, it says, okay, price should go test support. And if it breaks support, where's the next level of support? Well, at this stage here, that's the green line. That's that oscillator and change line. Uh, what price did today was it got back and it tested and rejected that level. Yes. So from an intermediate term time frame, this is still, even though we've got a TD9 count top, it's overall signals neutral. But I would say to cost, uh, Costa that the uh, buy area inside of NVIDIA on an intermediate term time frame is between 114.15 and 119.64. It all I need to do is tune in at 11 o'clock to listen to the Trader's Edge show. Steve. And we can uh, you know, take a look at that. That is a slick tool, Steve. Thank you for coming on and showing that. I Awesome. No Steve, problem. Thank you so much no for joining problem. us. Folks, we and will be right back. Yeah. Happy July 4th. Absolutely. You too, Steve. Take care, guys. We'll be right back.